Rule one, never dig straight down. Digging into a cavern or into lava is one of the surest and quickest ways to die. Also, unexpectedly dropping into a bunch of mobs can be fatal as well. Man, we can dig straight down. Just dig a two by one hole and stand in the middle of it. Can't fall into lava if you got an extra block beneath you to support you when you can see the lava. It's not that hard, man. Rule two, never dig straight up. Suffocation damage can unexpectedly ruin your day when gravel or sand fall on your face. Plus, dying inside a block can spread your things out over a large area as your items make their way upwards, making finding your things challenging in and of itself. Man, you can dig straight up. Just put a torch underneath you. That'll break the sand or gravel on the way down. Can't suffocate on the wall if there's no sand or gravel to suffocate in. Rule three, always carry a bucket of water. The utility of a water bucket can't be understated. It can help you both up and down ravines, save your life in lava, slow down mobs, and negate creeper explosions. Water buckets are definitely a lifesaver. Man, what's a water bucket gonna do for me in the nether? It's a liability in the nether. And besides, water blocks can get deleted. What can't get deleted? Potions, potions, pop a potion, you good to go. Rule four, never enter the nether without a flint and steel. If your portal goes out for any reason, for instance, a gas shoots it or another player breaks the portal, you'll be trapped in the nether, unable to make it back to your base forever. That is, unless you bring a flint and steel to relight your portal and also perhaps bring some obsidian blocks to rebuild it as well. Man, you don't need to bring a flint and steel to the nether. You can find those in the nether fortress chest, man. There's obsidian in there too. Besides, even if you didn't find a flint and steel, you can take what I call the hardest road. Hardest road, here we go. Wither skeleton, dropping coal. Next up, we got blaze. Take down the blaze, get that blaze rod, turn it into blaze powder. And finally, gas, take down gas, get that gunpowder, combine your gunpowder, your blaze powder, and your coal in your personal crafting inventory, and what do you know? You have not one, not two, but three fire charges. Take those fire charges, relight your portal, and welcome yourself back to the other side of the underworld. Bonus, when you get back to the other world, you can start a small brush fire. This has been the hardest road. Rule five, crouching is key. Crouching will prevent you from running off the edge of very tall structures to your inevitable demise. Same goes for pillaring vertically and horizontally. Crouching allows you to place blocks more easily while also avoiding falling off those blocks. Plus, it's a very good workout for your pinky. Man, my pinky finger ain't strong enough to crouch all the time. I ain't gonna be moving slow like that. I ain't got time for that. Besides, if I fall, I'll just fly away with the elytra, man. Easy as that. Rule six, always light up your base. Mobs can't spawn in areas with high light levels. Mobs can't kill you if they don't exist. Therefore, you should always light up your area with torches, glowstone, sea lanterns, or jack lanterns, all of which provide more than adequate lighting to prevent spawning and thus mobs existing. Dancing to the light. Man, I don't like to dance. I also like to live dangerously, but that's actually a pretty good tip. Do light up your base. Rule seven, always make a bed. Mobs will only spawn outside at night. Beds allow you to skip the night. Plus, with the phantom mob coming for your soul in 1.13, you'll need to sleep eventually, lest you be haunted by your dreams. Beds can also stop rain and thunder, as well as set your spawn point so you can respawn at your base in case you die. Man, why am I worried about mobs spawning outside at night or respawning back at my base when I don't leave my base in the first place, yo? Ten steps ahead of you. Rule 8, always mine around ores before mining. There's nothing more frustrating than losing your hard-earned diamonds to a hidden lava source, burning those beautiful blues into oblivion. Mine under and around your diamonds or other ores before mining to make sure that they aren't destroyed before you celebrate. Man, I'm not gonna waste time and durability on my pick by digging out extra blocks. I'm just gonna put down a water bucket, which I sometimes take with me and definitely have not said in the past was a waste of time. Rule nine, when in doubt, run. The player is faster than every mob in the game. If you get into trouble 
and can't take what the mobs are putting down, simply run away from them. They can't hit what they can't catch. Man, I'm not gonna run away from some mobs. I'm not afraid of danger. I am the day. Okay, maybe I'm not. Rule 10, food is your friend. Eating is the most powerful mechanic in Minecraft. It regenerates your health and allows you to sprint faster if you're full enough. Be sure to take adequate food on long mining expeditions and make sure your food is of high enough saturation value so you don't need to eat all the time. Man, food ain't my friend. Food is my enemy, yo. Check it out. This is what you need to get one single piece of bread. First, you gotta go and punch grass. Punch. Grass. Once you get some seeds, you gotta go and craft up a hoe. Once you got your hoe, you gotta go and till some dirt. Once you've tilled the dirt, you gotta plant the seed. Then, wait longer than the age of the known universe for the wheat to grow. Once the wheat does grow, take your wheat and get to a crafting table. Oh, by the way, you have to make a crafting table. Once you have your crafting table, go ahead and put the wheat in the crafting table to finally craft your one piece of bread. Are you serious right now? This is an enemy. But wait, there's more. Not only are some foods not as good as others, but some foods actually harm the player. What about poisonous potatoes? What about spider eyes? What about puffer fish? All foods, all enemies. Food is the enemy. Ladies and gentlemen, there they are. The 10 rules of Minecraft. Unwavering, unchanging, always true in every possible scenario. Nothing could ever top these. But if you think it could, let me know in the comments section below. What changes would you make? What rules would you see differently? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. This has been Co. Goodbye. Man, what sort of noob came up with these rules, man? There are no rules in Minecraft. I could have come up with a better list in my sleep. I'm telling you, I, I'm going to go and dislike every one of this guy's videos, and then I'm going to go and thumbs up it just to thumbs down it again. Again, dude. Again. I'm out.